Hi folks, Mel here. This is my third attempt at this video. As you can see, Lancey got me because I was telling him no because he was trying to eat someone's entry because he's being a booger today and I think it's because of the weather change. So I apologize. So some things have already been opened but I will restart from scratch. The first entry I received was from Telma Blazin and she did do a video response which I will link below in the in the description box to her channel so please go and check her out she also belongs to a group together with me in the Chic Craftique boutique or the Chic Craftique group um, and she's a very talented lady she's made beautiful shabby chic goodies and I'm a I'm a fan of hers so this is re I'm really honored that she joined my challenge uh, this is her information also her YouTube it is Telma Blazin that's just her name on YouTube and the first thing I saw were these, which these were the things that Lancelot was trying to eat. <laughs> she created shakers with this shape, and she made four, and I love them. And I'm not sure which die cut she used, but she might say this in her video response, but I love that she used the word tiles inside of them. So they're kind of a thick shaker, but look how beautiful. Just beautiful. So she made one with the word love. And this one with the word dreams. And then she made this one that says wish. Isn't that pretty? And then she made this one, and this one says life. Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you so much, Telma, for these. These are beautiful. And I cannot wait to use them on a project. They're just ever so beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the next thing that I saw was this. And this actually kind of came off, and I'm not really sure where it went back onto. So I will go back and look at her um, video because maybe it went there. I don't know. I will go back and look at her video. I apologize; it was just laying in the in the box, you know, shipping. Sometimes those people are awful. Um, but isn't this beautiful, folks? Look at these butterflies and the lace and all the pearl accents. And I love this around the fairy. I even love that she used buttons. I mean, this is just gorgeous how she put it together with seam binding and lace and there's layers and oh my gosh this comes out oh wow I didn't see that oh my gosh and there's a butterfly behind it <gasps> beautiful Telma beautiful oh I'm in love thank you so much this is a beautiful tag beautiful beautiful tag thank you thank you then she sent these two cards, and on the last video, I will say it again because you didn't see the video, but I loved the very elegant look to these cards. I love how she distressed all the edges. I love how she used the gold to stamp the thank you, and so it's shiny and then bold. Uh, just very plain and elegant, if you know what I mean. Very clean and pretty. So these are gorgeous. So thank you so much for both of these entries into the challenge. My aunt will definitely use those. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then she sent me some goodies, which she did not have to do. You are so sweet. And I've examined this because, you know, like I said, it's my third video. You had to have made this, Toma. Look how beautiful this is. Look up close, folks. All the be all the wiring of the f of the pearls. Isn't this beautiful? And I cannot wait to hang this on my door. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Telma, for this. It's very unique and, and just beautiful. I just, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then she sent, of course she sent more. She's so sweet. She sent me these, and they are so beautiful. And I've seen the ladies in our group show these. And I never bought the kit to buy them. But aren't these beautiful? And I look at these and I think, how cool would it be to make these into a shaker? Because they're see-through, you know? Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. I'm, I'm going to have to hoard these for a while because I just I, these are gorgeous. So thank you so much, Toma. And then you went ahead and sent me the butterfly that was on the tag. Love, love this butterfly applique. It is so beautiful and it's thick and heavy duty and then she sent me the white ones that are different aren't these beautiful I cannot wait to embellish these and use these on a project I do not own these at all I have like two butterfly appliques and they're vintage they're really old so they're not detailed like this they're just as I mean they're just these are gorgeous so thank you thank you Thelma so much it was very sweet of you 
The next entries come from Virginia Story. And she does not make videos, but she is active on YouTube. And she's been a subscriber for a while. She also sent me a rack, which I'm actually going to video separate because I did want to take it away from my um, entries to the challenge. So I will share with you her entries, which I think are beautiful. I had only gotten so far as to do the first two because that's when Lancelot decides to be a booger. It's something about one of these things he loves. So this was her first entry, and it's a shaker. And I love the bird. And you can't see very well because it's going to shine and be glary, but the image behind is a bird's nest. And it is so pretty. And I love how she used the frame to make the shaker. Just gorgeous, Virginia. Just gorgeous. Thank you so very much. This is very pretty. And then here's the tag, which is to die for. <laughs> it is ever so beautiful. The detail on this tag is just amazing. I love the, I think this might be a fern punch or a fern die cut. All the little details, the itty bitty teeny teeny tiny roses, the little blue roses. The, I mean all of this is just gorgeous. The clock, the metal embellishment, the lace, the ribbons. I mean it says create time. I love this. <coughs> Excuse me. This is beautiful Virginia. Thank you so very much for sharing this with me in my challenge. So pretty. I'm going to start putting some fun things out so everybody can kind of see all the goodies. You know, just so everybody can see the goodies because it's so awesome. So, sorry for the crinkle crinkle. She had said that she had had a card and then she had sent some blank ones as well. So, oh my goodness, look how pretty this card is. Oh, this is so pretty, Virginia. I'm really loving these little birdies. I think they're wood. Oh, so pretty, and I love this die cut. Gorgeous, gorgeous thank you card. Thank you so much. This is definitely going to be used. However, I do have a question. What kind of paper is that? I have. It's like plastic, kind of. I don't know, but this is pretty awesome. And then she embellished the envelope with washi and a black strip to match the card, which is beautiful. So thank you so much for that entry. And then she sent, of course these are the blank ones that she sent. Just plain blank cards that my auntie can use. So thank you for that. She will definitely love those. And then this is the next card that she created. I love this bow. You know I still don't have a bow die cut. <laughs> still don't have one. The uh, color combination on this card is absolutely perfect for spring and summer and I love Love how she did this card. I love the bow. I love the bird and the flowers. This is just beautiful. So thank you so much, Virginia, for this entry. Thank you, Telma and Virginia, both for participating in my challenge. And again, folks, I will po post Telma's link below. And please go check out her channel. She doesn't have a lot of videos, but she's new to YouTube world. So give her some subby love and tell her I sent you. Thanks again, folks, for coming. And next video will be my rack from the Sweet Virginia. Have a great day.